Hey YouTube, it's Brenna Lee Turner from LeanSecrets.com and today we are talking about weight loss in a hurry. For those of you who have a high school reunion, a wedding, a birthday, a cruise, a vacation and you want to look smoking hot in a quick amount of time and you don't have a lot of time to do it, that's what we're talking about today. Specifically, I got a question from a viewer named Deadly Love and here's what she had to ask. I'm having my sweet 16 in November and my mom is trying to lose some weight. Is there a way she could lose at least 20 pounds in two months? She works out a lot and she lost 10 pounds, but she gained it all back. Any advice? If so, please reply soon. Well, Deadly Lover, thank you so much for your question. It's a very common question, as you can imagine, but your question is also kind of broad. I'm not sure how much your mom weighs. I'm not sure her current body fat percentage. I'm not sure of her age, nor am I sure of what kind of exercises she's doing. So it's kind of a broad question and a broad issue. So what I'm going to do is offer pretty broad but awesome weight loss advice that works 100% of the time across the board for everybody. It's kind of a no brainer. And if your mom uses these tips and if you, the viewer uses these tips, you can lose a lot of weight if you're in a hurry and you need to lose it quick. So if you want to lose weight in a hurry, here's what you need to remember. You have to remember that this special event is not a finish line. I don't want you to see this special event, whether it be a wedding, a family get together, a high school reunion or a birthday party. I don't want you to see it as a finish line because there is no finish line in weight loss or in health or in fitness. You have to commit to this lifestyle for the rest of your life so that you're not stuck in this jiffy in the future. You don't wanna to have to go and do this every single time you have a special event. Wouldn't it be great to just be healthy all the time and never have to diet again? So that's our goal here. We wanna adopt new habits that are going to stick forever. Now that we've got that covered and we all know that there is no finish line in weight loss and no matter what you look like, you should always be striving to be better and you shouldn't stop once you hit a goal, you should always be improving. We're going to jump into how to jumpstart your weight loss and get you going so that you look hot on that special event. But the first most important thing you got to remember when eating and exercising is this is crunch time. Every little bit counts. Every walk, every bite of food you take, everything counts and there's no wiggle room here. We have to really dedicate and focus our energy on eating the right foods and using our body in the right way. So that means sometimes when your friends are going out and having beers or when your uh, coworkers are having pizza for lunch, you got to decline it because every little bit of food and every exercise hour counts towards looking hot on that special day. And number two thing I want you to remember is you've got to eat enough food. You can't go to the default mode of starving yourself and going on a crash diet because that's going to slow your metabolism down and it's going to end up biting you in the ass right before that special event. You're going to be bloated and you're not going to be sure why. You're going to be panicking and you're going to be frustrated. Also, if you don't eat enough food, you're going to be tired. You're not going to have enough energy to work out and you're gonna be just crabby all together, you're gonna to be miserable. So you've gotta make sure you eat enough food. That means eating four to five meals every single day. Make sure you eat breakfast, a snack in between, lunch, a snack in between, and dinner every single day. Don't skip meals. Do not skip meals. I repeat, do not skip meals. Every single one of these four to five meals, I want you to include a lean protein source, a fibrous carbohydrate, and a little bit of healthy fat. And just so everybody's clear on what all this means, I'm gonna take you to my kitchen right now and show you a healthy day of eating and what a healthy day of eating looks like. Okay, so let's go. A good breakfast would be egg whites with oatmeal and a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond breeze or any kind of unsweetened almond milk. But we don't want to have normal milk. We don't want to have cereal. We don't want to have toast or anything like that. So instead of doing that, you could do egg whites with oatmeal. You could do scrambled eggs with a little bit of oatmeal. You could do um, salmon with rice. You can do any kind of lean protein and natural carbohydrate that isn't refined or processed. So this is a perfect idea for breakfast, let's move on to our snack. And before I forget, every single meal should have some kind of fibrous carbohydrate, i.e. a vegetable. Every single meal should have a vegetable in this point. But moving on to the snack. Snack could be um, hummus with carrots. Uh, snack could be some, um, another snack could be a piece of fruit with string cheese, nuts like raw nuts with an apple, any kind of, um, lean protein slash fat source with any kind of piece of fruit. This would be a perfect time to have a little bit of fruit. The second meal in the day 
because your blood sugar is kind of dropping down so we want to stabilize it with some fruit um, and also make sure you include some kind of vegetable in every single meal. But this is the Oasis hummus, it's zero fat and it's really, really good. So that's a good snack. So, so for lunch, what we'd want to do is some kind of fish or lean protein. So tilapia would be great. Cook this on a Sunday and then you'll have it for the rest of the week. So tilapia with some kind of salad and vegetable and some kind of brown rice. Cook a whole batch of brown rice, have it for the rest of the week and just use um, maybe a couple tablespoons, like a third of a cup for your lunch meal. And what you want to avoid in lunch is the typical healthy idea of having a Subway sandwich or a regular turkey sandwich. We want to avoid sandwiches because of all that bread. We don't need that bread. So avoid any kind of bread for this point forward. Um, also, you want to avoid any kind of like baked chips or any kind of like diet snack that's packaged by large food companies, those are definitely going to hinder your weight loss goal. So stick to really clean stuff, really clean natural stuff. So that's another example. So the snack in between your lunch and your dinner is probably going to be something simple like a protein shake or you can use egg whites instead of whey protein. You just mix these up in a blender with some frozen fruit and you put some, some coconut milk in and you're good to go. If you aren't sure about recipes, there's a link in the bottom for a video that I did called how to make a protein shake delicious. And also remember every meal has a vegetable so grab a green pepper or something so that you can eat it with this meal that's going to help keep you full and it's going to give your metabolism the phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals and all that other stuff that we need to keep our weight loss progress going. So in your dinner and your snack after dinner, the snack after dinner is totally optional. You don't have to do that, but your dinner and your last meal, the snack, if you choose to have one, should not have any carbohydrates that are from fruit or any kind of starchy carbohydrate like rice or anything. Those carbs are great for the beginning and the middle of the day, but you don't really need those later on at night because we're not using them. If you're going to work out after dinner, you probably shouldn't do that, but if you're gonna work out after dinner, you could probably eat, get away with eating some of those carbs. But for now, let's just stick to something like a lean turkey, a lean chicken breast, um, something like that. You could probably do a stir fry with some vegetables. So you get the idea. Um, another thing I wanna mention is just the source of carbohydrates that you're gonna be getting are gonna be from beans, brown rice, you can do brown rice cakes if you want. Um, you can do brown rice bread. Um, and that's pretty much it. Maybe some sweet potatoes, but we want to avoid anything else for like cereal, crackers, bread, even if it says whole wheat bread, we don't need that. That's definitely not what we need in this crunch time period. Also, fruit is totally fine. As long as you don't eat it in your last two meals, go nuts with fruit, that doesn't matter. You cannot, cannot get overweight from eating fruit, but just make sure you combine your fruit with some kind of protein or fat so that it's stable in your blood sugar. Um, so that's, that's pretty much what a day of healthy eating looks like in this jumpstart period and pretty much every day after this, even once you hit your finish line, hopefully you'll continue to eat like this so that you can have exactly the weight and the health and the vitality that you want and deserve. For this, we're just going to cover a few more points about super fast weight loss. So back to the office. So as for the exercise, we've pretty much already gained as much muscle as we're going to gain at this point in the game if you're two months away from your wedding or your birthday party or something like that. So we're going to pretty much focus this time on cardio. I am very, very big proponent of weight training. Most of my training is weight training, but if there's a special event coming up, the weight training isn't gonna do much good for me because I've already gained as much muscle as I'm probably gonna gain. I'm probably not gonna gain five, 10, 15 pounds of muscle before some special event. So it's gonna be in the cardio. You're gonna to wanna to do your cardio two separate sessions throughout the day. So one in the morning, one in either the afternoon or the early evening. It the reason that we split our cardio up into two separate sessions is because it raises your metabolism every time that you work out, even just a little bit. So if you raise your metabolism at two separate times throughout the day, it's going to obviously benefit you. You're gonna be burning more calories in the long run than if you just did one long cardio session throughout the day. So each session should be about 30 minutes 
up to an hour. So you could do up to two hours combined of cardio. And also when you're moving and you're doing your cardio, make sure that you're sweating. You've got to be intense enough. Ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how intense am I working right now? Is it a one? Is it a 10? You want to be at least at a seven. No matter if you've never worked out before in your life, you want to make sure that your personal exertion rate is about a seven, eight, or nine, um, even 10 sometimes. Really push yourself. We're not just talking about going on nice leisurely walks. You've got to really push yourself and sweat your ass off, literally. Now I'm going to address something very cliche. You have to get enough sleep if you want to lose weight because you literally will hinder yourself if you don't get enough sleep. So make sure you're getting at least seven hours of sleep. If you're one of those people who aren't a big sleeper, you should take something called melatonin. It's a natural supplement. It's going to help you sleep. You can also take tryptophan. Um, you can take 5-HTP. These are all just ideas if you have trouble sleeping. And these also will help regulate your serotonin levels anyway. You'll, you'll feel good and your appetite will be regulated by these natural supplements. You can get those at any vitamin shop, Whole Foods, Amazon, etc. So make sure you're getting enough sleep. Long story short, make sure that you get enough sleep. You need that sleep right now, especially with all the cardio that you're going to be doing. So there you have it. If you follow these guidelines, you will shock yourself and everyone around you by how amazing you look. And I can't wait to hear how great you look. So just in case you're confused about anything I said in the video, I made a document for you so that you can have the guidelines. You can print them out and have them with you. Put them on your fridge or something. And they're really simple. I laid everything out for you. So that's in the description box below. Open the description box, open it up, print out the PDF document in there and um, enjoy it, follow it, and let me know about your progress. I can't wait to hear how fast everybody's losing their, their weight and how great everybody's looking and feeling. So send me your questions. Feel free to comment on the video and also feel free to push the like button. It helps out a lot. <laughs>